them and then the congressman. Hi, my name is Annette McHugh, and I'm with the Tea Party Patriots of Glendale, Arizona. I thank everybody, everybody here for coming here. We appreciate this so much. It's a wonderful opportunity to do this. We gathered this coalition today specifically for this purpose. It was a, it was a huge task for many of us, but we're thankful and very grateful that you guys have come. Um, I just want to say a brief statement. Um, the Tea Party movement began through the efforts of grassroots citizens. Their desires to have a voice in what we saw happening to our country. Our elected leaders were ignoring us. They were not listening to us, not giving us a chance to be heard. Doing nothing and simply waiting around until election day to cast our votes wasn't even enough. We watched and sat silent as the leaders that we elected to serve us became self-serving. We remained silent as we saw our elected leaders use our hard-earned tax dollars to bail private industries, establish and maintain wasteful, unproductive government institutions, and entitlement programs. We remain silent as many of us began to lose our jobs, our homes, and our freedoms that were vested to us by our founding fathers in the United States Constitution. These freedoms we hold dearly, and we will no longer let them be stolen from us hoped for a change when we were promised in 2008 for transparency in government and we were reassured that government business would be the people's business. It has been two years since that time which those promises were first made to us. We did not anticipate since that time we would see our elected leaders compromising the rights of, our, of their constituents, rights that are inherently granted to us in our constitution for monetary gain and lavish careers and lavish lifestyles and no credit limits on your credit cards. When we elected you, it was not a right we granted to you to do what you think is best for us. It was an honor we bestowed upon you to be our voice, not your own. Daniel Webster warned us Hold on, my friends, to the Constitution and the Republic for which it stands. Miracles do not cluster, and what has happened once in 6,000 years may not happen again. Hold on to the Constitution, for if the American Constitution should fall, there will be anarchy throughout the world. We, the people, gathered right here before you, representing the citizens of Arizona as Tea Party members, and patriots will not only vote for U.S. citizens who do not merely make verbal promises to us to restore our state and nation toward fiscal responsibilities, secure our borders so that not, not only Arizona citizens are safe from rampant crime and protect our nation from terrorists we already know are here, reduce and stop the expansion of governmental control and regulation into every aspect of our lives encourage and allow free markets to expand and contract without government interference and using our tax money to salvage these markets. We want a leader who has solid plans already in place and not insult us by simply saying what they want us to hear. Yeah.
much. And to you, the citizen activists who want to restore our constitutional republic. Yeah! In this special election year of 2010, Arizona is front and center because we will see if the old Washington way of doing business will prevail, a well-moneyed moderate or a common-sense conservative with genuine grassroots support. Yeah. accept the endorsement of these Tea Party groups and the citizen activists. It is a wonderful thing to see and it re-emphasizes what this entire campaign has been about. That government of the people, by the people, and for the people must have the endorsements of the people of Arizona. Yep. Yes. of the fact that uh, rather than just engaging, sadly as the incumbent does, in all sorts of name calling and all sorts of multi-million dollar smears, that it's important to offer the people of Arizona a plan, an agenda for what will transpire as I began service in the United States Senate as a senator for Arizona, not merely from Arizona. <laughs> Mindful of Mark Twain's admonition that history does not repeat itself, but it rhymes, we should point out the very first contract with America the Constitution of the United States. Yeah. 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 Six I have already taken an oath to uphold and defend and protect this Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And those of you who follow politics know that over a decade and a half ago, I stood on the West Front of the Capitol to sign a document that led to a historic change in the Congress of the United States. The first majority for my party in my lifetime in the United States House of Representatives. So today, I would ask those to bring front and center here beside the podium my contract with Arizona, 10 affirming constructive, common sense, conservative goals that I pledge to the people of Arizona I will pursue as their next United States Senator. And to make it official, I will affix my signature to this contract. 